Hello, and welcome to episode 24 of A Slice of Pie podcast, where we talk about all the interesting people in Georgetown County, especially Polly's Island, Georgetown, and Merle's Inlet. My name is Kat Loftus, and we're so glad you've joined us today. We're here in the last week of 2023, December 2023, and we're so glad we've made it. We had a lot of fun at Christmas, saw a lot of family and friends over the Christmas holidays, uh, getting everything cleaned up and getting ready for a great new year and a great January 2024. Um, I hope that you have your collards ready to eat on New Year's Day. If you don't, these are the kind I recommend. They are Margaret Holmes seasoned collard greens. You can buy these in your grocery store. And this is not a paid promotion. This is just something we have in our house. And I think if you have to eat collard greens and you don't know how to take the... Um, big collard green leaf and chop it up and season it. This is a great little shortcut that we can use. So um, I recommend those, the canned seasoned collard greens with your pork and your black eyed peas and rice and cornbread, whatever else you eat on New Year's Day. That's what we do here in the South. Um, this week on A Slice of Pie, we are featuring one of my favorite young people growing up, Thomas Rowland. Thomas Rowland uh, grew up in my neighborhood in Debidu, and he graduated from Wofford College, and now he is in a band called Winya. It is a band that he formed along with four other friends, and because it, he is having success, he decided to move to Nashville to continue to grow his band and promote his band, and we wanted to get him on the podcast to talk about his journey. Um, how the band came about, where it's going, the style of music that they play, how you can book them and get in touch with them, and um, just every little thing about the Winya band. And he truly is an amazing performer. I got to hear Thomas sing and play his guitar um, at a little Saturday night uh, get together at the Beach Club in Debidu. Uh, this summer, he was amazing. I was spellbound when I heard him sing, and I just thought, he is too good to be here. He needs to be in Nashville. So I'm so glad he's taken his talents, along with his great, talented friends, um, to Nashville, and they're seeing how far they can go with their one y'all band. We'll add a clip in here right after I finish speaking so you can hear some of their music, and then we'll go into the interview with Thomas. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoy episode 24 of A Slice of Pie podcast. Before I wake up from this dream, Mama see you let me hear you scream. Thomas, how you doing? Good morning. I'm doing well, thanks. How are you? And thank you so much for joining our podcast. This is episode 24 of A Slice of Pie. And um, we've invited Thomas Rowland on here to talk about his band, Winya. How's that going? It's going well. Thank you so it's, much for having me on the show. I'm yeah. excited to uh, talk about it. Yeah, so I guess I've known you since you were about two years old. I don't know how first time I got to know Thomas, but you have never been afraid of anything. I remember you getting on your, um, what do you call it? Um, your surf, not your surfboard, your um, skateboard. And you would go around the neighborhood and just come visit people. And I think I've always loved that about you. Mm -hmm. Your happy spirit and just always not afraid to try and do anything. Have you, do you feel like you, that's your personality? I'm tr trying every day. It's uh, as I get older, it's tougher and tougher, but I'm, I'm trying to, to keep the adventure going and, and continue to, remain positive and meet as many people as I can and and keep making music yeah I've never I've never seen you be afraid of anything I know you're a surfer is that correct I am I am um, not as much of a surfer as some other folks in my band but yeah. um but I do try okay so Thomas do, let's tell our listeners where did you grow up I grew up in Debidu South Carolina um yeah. not far from Cat's house. That's right. <laughs> just, uh, not too far from the beach. Yes, yeah, a skateboard right away, right? And then, uh, which is in Georgetown County, closer to Pauly's Island, right? 
So, and then where'd you go to school growing up? Where'd you go to school? Um, up until ninth grade, I went to Waccamaw schools. Um, so I went to Waccamaw Elementary and Waccamaw Intermediate and Waccamaw Middle School. Um, and then in high school, I went to Woodbury Forest School in Virginia. Now, how was And it? after high school, I, I went to Wofford College. So you're a Wofford graduate. That's correct. Yes, ma'am. Um, what did you get your degree in? I was a double major in environmental science, or excuse me, environmental studies and Spanish. Oh, hablas español? Sí. Sí. Es verdad. Okay, good. Buena. Um, es verdad. <laughs> es verdad, yeah. Okay. Um, te gusta música. Uh, all right. So, Thomas, <laughs> how long have you been a musician? Um, I started singing when I was probably in the second grade. I think my mom signed my sister and I up for, um, for the junior choir at, at Prince George Winya. And so we started doing that. Um, and I don't think I really liked it that much at first, but I, I think once I got into it a little bit, we, my sister and I enjoyed it a, a good bit. Um, and we sang well together and we still do. Delacy? Delacy. 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 Oh, yeah. yes. Go ahead and tell us about your family. I forgot to ask you about your family members. So. Um, I have two older sisters. Um, Delacy is an interior designer in Nashville. So she lives not too far from me now. Okay. Um, and we have a great time together in Nashville. I love having her there with me. Um, I have another older sister, Ashley who lives in Greenville and she has two beautiful children, um, my niece and my nephew. And she is married to James, um, who is the best brother-in-law in the world, an amazing role, fo role model for me. Wow. Um, and then mom and dad are hanging out at home and, and they are amazing and the most supportive folks for me in my life, um, which I'm so thankful for. And they're my, my rocks. They are great people. I love your mom and dad. Your, and your mom is an interior designer also? Is that she is, yes, ma'am. Mom is an interior designer. And, um, you know, dad does a lot of, yeah. of interesting things. It's hard to put a title on what he does, but I, I call it land stewardship, land management. Land management, land sales, land stewardship, um, yeah. Um, all right. So, um, and when you're not singing and producing music, um, you and your dad, do y'all ever do, uh, hunting and fishing together? We do. We, uh, we spend a lot of, of time outdoors when we can. Um, it's been very rainy while I've been home for, for this break for the past couple of days. So we haven't gotten out there as much, but, um, I think we're actually planning on going hunting this afternoon. Um, if our schedules can align, I have to go and, and do some band stuff. And I know he's working, but we do spend a lot of time outdoors, a lot of time fishing and a lot of time hunting. Um, that's a, a passion that, that we share and that I, I grew up luckily um, coming to love was, was being outdoors and spending time out there with him. Do you use some of those outdoor experiences as some inspiration for some of your songs? Have you ever done that? You say that? I do. I do. I, um, I write a lot about my surroundings, um, whether it be in the city or, or in the country. Um, I think that it's, uh, it's good, a good way for me to really remember and appreciate uh, the places I've been and the things I do when I'm, when I'm out there, the little things. Um, and so I, I do write a lot about that, whether it's in a journal or in song. Um, I really do love writing songs about um, nature. That was a big thing for me in college. I had a project where I wrote um, a couple songs about some of my favorite places that I'd been. Um, and so I do, I do find myself writing a lot about uh, being outdoors and, and being in the woods and being in beautiful places. So and maybe not so beautiful places yeah, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Not everything in the song is positive. Sometimes you have those other other sides to That's right. Reality. Um, what makes a good song, Thomas? What do you think makes 
I am still trying to figure that one out. That's a, that's a tough question. Um, I think right now for me, what makes a good song is what makes me feel good and what, what I think is my truth and what, if I'm singing something that, that, you know, hits deep in my heart, um, that's what feels good to me right now. Um, obviously I think that musical elements can can really make a song shine um so i i have to give credit where credit's due there i think that with really killer instrumentation um and composition you can make a song into an experience um rather than you know just a song um I, i'm really interested in the idea of kind of creating an atmosphere or a feeling with songs um and so i think that's kind of what has been feeling good for me recently but i am still definitely trying to figure out what makes a, a good song and, and what makes a song good you certainly know a lot more about that than i do i just know when i'm working in the kitchen cleaning up something i hear a song on the radio or on you know spotify I just oh that makes me feel good so i start you know, working a little bit faster Certainly. There we go. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm going for is yeah. make people feel good, make That's myself right. feel good. Or, you know, or whatever. Feel something. Feel something. Feel something. That's right. Um, who are the musicians in your life or musicians you've heard before that have inspired you? Um, I am, this is a very wide range, but um, growing up, my my dad and I would always listen to classic vinyl uh it's xm number 26 and he would cover up the um the screen on his car and make me guess who was playing the songs so i'm i'm very influenced by classic rock um and kind of classic folk music i really love led zeppelin um i love Jimi hendrix pink floyd wow yeah uh, and then uh, I'm trying to think. Gordon Lightfoot, um, any, Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Any country music stars? Um, I'm trying to think who. I modern country. I listen to a lot of Brent Cobb, um, and he's more in the Americana realm. Not as much mainstream country. I don't. I don't find myself listening to much mainstream country. Um, you know, it's hard to get away from the Luke Combses and the Morgan Wallens of the world because they have so many, you know, chart topping, super popular songs. So I do listen to that, some of that stuff, but I really listen to um, Charlie Crockett and Brent Cobb. And honestly, a lot of my friends that I've made in Nashville, I listen to their music. Are they also kind of at, at the same um, stage of life or sta uh, stage of their career that you are there? working on their careers, building their band? Um, luckily for them, they are, are a little bit ahead of me. And it's also lucky for me because I get to learn from what they're doing. Um, I've been very blessed to, to meet some really, really talented folks who are also great, great people and, and good friends of mine. Um, and all of them seem to be having like a, a, a blow up moment or they're, they're signing awesome deals and doing great stuff, um, you know, booking shows all over the country. So it's very inspiring uh, for me. I think that if I keep working, I'll be there as well. So do they encourage you? Most definitely. Good. Okay. Most definitely. It, it can be tough getting that first blow up moment, like you just said, but you just have to keep. Right. You know, when I was a little girl, Thomas, um, my father liked to grow different plants in the yard and he taught me something about ivy growing ivy so when you plant ivy you know what ivy is correct so, mm -hmm. yes ma'am so he said with ivy the first year it sleeps the second year it creeps and the third year it leaps so there, yeah. i've started anything like this with this podcast or my real estate career or anything i've done is i've got to remember that so it does it's not going to be maybe spectacular from the beginning but if you're patient and, and keep working at it you will leap you will make yes, ma'am. So I, I love that. That's I awesome. believe you. So remember, first year sleep, second year creeps, third year leap. So I know you're going to be there. I'm just happy to be able to have this meeting with you because I know you're going to be there. And 
out of reach one day for me. So thank you for talking with me. Um, yes, ma'am. Now, when do you create your songs? When do you find that moment? Say, I got this. I think this is a song. Let's get going. With Let's. Oh man, um, it's super random. Yeah, Sometimes I, I I sit and it's sort of like a I meditate. I guess it would be um, not really like formally. I'm not going like oh mom, um, <laughs> but I do. I like to get in a good headspace. Um, you know, sometimes I like to turn off my phone and and just think for a while or just go walk um, and get inspired or, or go on a run. A lot of the time when I'm working out, I get song ideas, yeah. um, which is really random. Um, a lot of the time when I'm driving, I get song ideas. So if I have a song idea, I, I immediately write it down in my notes i've probably you got keep a note with you. <laughs> i do i have a bunch of notebooks that i if i have those i'll write them down with my pen because I, I think that writing with a pen is is a good method for me it helps me remember and and stay connected to the idea that i had as opposed to putting it time. as opposed to texting a note in your phone Right. And I do text a note into my phone as well when I don't have, you know, the means to to get out my notebook and write with a pen. Um, but I feel like the the ideas that I have that I write down with a pen really stick with me and I'm able to think about them for a longer amount of time um, without actually having them there. It's just, I don't know, something about writing something down. It, it really helps me. Um but I, I, whenever I have an idea, I just write it down. And sometimes it takes 20 minutes and I'm right next to a guitar and boom, there's chords. And, and 20 minutes later, I have a, a song. Um, and then there's times when it takes months or I, I've, I think I've got some songs that I've been working on for a couple of years. I don't know if they're any good, but I, I, there's definitely a lot of ideas on my phone that I haven't gotten to yet. A couple of things you said, I like, you know, I, you know, I used to be a teacher, so I love how you talked about writing something and how it helps you remember it. So it must be something to do mm -hmm. with that muscle memory. Um, Definitely. Writing that down and um, retaining memory. So let's hear it for writing things down the old fashioned way. I love that. Most definitely. Love that. And then also, um, I think I saw on your Instagram one time, y'all might have put it on social media that you and um, do you need to get that? No, ma'am. Let me. Actually, I probably should see who it is. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, we're back. All right. So, um, so you could be. I think what I was saying is um, on your Instagram. I saw that one time you and Luke were. You just you were working on a song. It just came to y'all real quick, and you worked on your computer. Your I don't know what y'all were doing, but it seemed like it, the moment hit y'all. You sat down and you worked at it real. Quick. Oh <laughs> yeah, um, that was a song that Luke and I put out. Um, this is Luke Gordon for all of our listeners or our viewers. Um, Luke and I were hanging out in Nashville. It was his first time in Nashville and it was actually the last day before um, he left and we it was a Sunday and we had we'd been out and had a big weekend and had fun and we were kind of rehabilitating on Sunday morning on Sunday. And, and yeah looking for something to do watching football and then we started playing um, playing this song by Led Zeppelin going to California mm -hmm. Um, and we had actually, we were supposed to play it live at the Carolina Country Music Fest, but then there was a bunch of rain delays and our set times changed and we didn't really get to do our acoustic set anymore. Um, and so we, we were really bummed out about that and we had practiced, practiced, practiced the song. And so we sat down on that Sunday and, and we were like, let's just do a recording of it and just get it out, and get it out of our system. And we sat there for about, eight hours I'd think and wow. just really grinded it out and and co-produced the song and it didn't really feel like eight hours we were we were in the zone and having a great time um and then we we got to the end when we were done producing um at least for the night we thought and we went down to go listen to what we'd made in the truck 
because that's kind of a, a telltale sign. If it sounds good in the truck, then <laughs> well, uh, sounds good in the truck. <laughs> it, it must be at least decent. Then I mean, we're no professional um, producers by any means, um, but you know, we like to like to experiment. And so we went down to the truck, and we totally thought it was going to be terrible, and we were going to have to spend a, a a few more hours on the mix. And we got down there and listen to it and just started dying laughing it was a great moment and we we knew that the song was was right where it needed to be um and it that's, gave that's us the feeling feel that we wanted for listeners that's it was got, amazing feeling. that's gotta feel good i love that it was really really a fun moment okay a really good moment of creation for me yeah so I, i'm not a musician i like to listen to music but um i've heard it said that you create the music first and then the lyrics second is that true um, it can, can be true. Way. It can be either way. Um, sometimes it it's either way for me. Um, I a lot of the songs I've written um, with music first, and then there's like a couple songs that I've written with just lyrics first. And then you have to find the music that fits mm -hmm. the lyrics. Okay, cool. Yes, ma'am. All right, let's talk about your band, When Y'all. When was When Y'all created? When Y'all was created in April of this year, 2023. Tell us about the name. Where'd you get the name When Y'all? Um, when Y'all, we are all from around When Y'all Bay um, here in, in Georgetown County. Um, and so we were, we were going over band names. And I think at some point um, someone said, what if we were the When Y'all Bay Boys? And then somebody was like, no but we could just be Winya, and I think we all liked it and we, we all rolled with it. I think that picking a band name was actually a, a couple day process for us, yeah, um, that can be hard. which looking back on it is pretty funny. Yeah. Um, um, well, we actually figured this out after we, we picked Winya is that there's five main bodies of water that flow into Winya Bay and we have five band members. Oh, I love that. Um, what and we've done some, some history reading as well and it's an indian word for people of the black water is what we learned i love that people of black so what are the five main tributaries that flow into the winyaw bay i think it's oh lord Waccamaw, uh, sam pitt how about the pd pd little pd and, and the, uh, did you uh, black, river? Sure. black river black river the black river yeah so uh, for anybody that is listening, those bodies of water, those rivers are in the state of South Carolina and they flow down through the different counties uh, coming into Georgetown County, right between Pauley's Island and Georgetown. And they, their confluence is right there, right into Georgetown. Uh, and then they flow out through the Winyaw Bay out into the Atlantic Ocean, right? right. Yes, ma'am. Have you ever fished in the Winyaw Bay? I have. I've spent a lot of time in the Winyaw Bay. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a great, a popular spot for sure. Um, it okay. is. All right. So now tell us about your band members. So I've got four amazing band members. Um, that's not including myself. Um, on the keys, I have Rob Buffington, mm -hmm. who is amazing at the keys and just a, a a really joyous and energetic and really witty guy. Um, I love being around him. He always, he, he's kind of like the glue whenever we're all tense or something, Rob is always saying something funny and, and, you know, keeping us lighthearted and, and keeping us chilled out. Um, so he's great. I love playing with him. Um, and he's, he, he does good for the band, I think. Um, I've got Jim Carr on the drums, who is like a big brother to me. Oh, we kind of grew up I together. I know his parents. I know Jim Carr's parents. Yeah, yeah. He's yes, ma'am. Okay. And he's a great drummer, um, great friend of mine. And we, we've always enjoyed playing together um, from back porches and Debido on yeah. guitars to when he started playing drums and and um, we just always have enjoyed playing together um, and he is he's the oldest member of the band so he kind of keeps everybody level-headed and and keeps us realistic which is great um and let's see 
Luke Gordon is on the guitar and he is one of the most talented um, musicians that I've had the pleasure of playing with. Wow. Um, he's, uh, he's got a, an ear for, for things that I, I don't really understand, but I, I love that I get to, to learn from it and, and see it in action. Um, I think that he's better at music than he is surfing, which is saying something. He's a great surfer. He was a national champion um, surfer. I mean, he was national a champion surfer worldwide. But I think that um, I think he's he's really one of the most talented musicians I've ever seen. Um, on the guitar, he is uh, an unbeatable force, mm-hmm. um, and he's a great leader for our band. Him and I have from the early stages, we, we had a lot of long car rides to band practices in Columbia. Um, and we have done a lot of planning and, and dreaming for the band, um, since we've spent so much time together. And I really appreciate that about him. Uh, he's kind of been my, my partner in crime with, with making this thing work and, and leading the guys, um, musically, he is, he's unbelievably talented. Um, and just a great friend, great friend, great guy, um, very inspiring person. He works hard and is very level-headed and is a, a very good leader and, you know, just great guy to be around. Um, and then Steven Russell plays bass and Steven is also a, an unbelievably talented, um, musician. He is better at guitar than I am, um, and which when he plays guitar, it's really, really fun to watch him play. He's, he's great. And, and I think he knows a lot of jazz theory, which is really cool. He brings that to the table um, and it kind of spices things up and gives us a little, a little bit of an indie flair, uh, if you will. Um, and Steve-O is great. He, um, he's incredibly smart and very wise and, Um, he has been helping a lot with, um, with how we run our business and, and, and marketing and, you know, merch designs. And he's very creative in that way. And so I'm very thankful for him. Um, he's just, he's, he's great. I'm, I'm very lucky, lucky. I feel lucky to, um, to get to play with such great musicians and, and great friends. And we all have a great time together. Okay, so who lives in Nashville right now? Who's living in Nashville? I am the only one who's living in Nashville as of now. I think Luke is moving to Nashville um, next week. So that, that that's exciting. Um, and then we're hoping that the rest of the guys will come in May. Fingers crossed. Are some of those band members still in school? Is anybody still in school? Rob is still at the University of South Carolina. Um, Steven and Jim are, are working. Um, Steven lives in Charlotte and works for Ally Bank and Jim lives in Columbia and works for Sea Hunt Boats. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. And yes, ma'am. You are in Nashville just doing the everything you can to get when y'all promoted, correct? I am. I'm in Nashville, um, you know, networking and, and playing and, and writing a lot of songs. Um, trying to, to keep the promotion side of things organic and not, you know, shove it in people's faces. Cause I think that, that a lot of artists that I see nowadays with social media and stuff, it kind of feels that way. And it feels kind of weird to me. Um, I'm not really that way. Uh, and I don't think the rest of the guys are, we just enjoy playing music and, and love the opportunity to do so so we're trying to to book gigs and and get things going opening for people um and you know trying to make really great music and and put out some good projects so who's in charge of booking um all of the gigs is that your job um mainly me um it's it really can be random at times um sometimes since Rob's in college, he, he kind of has an edge with the, the college crowd and he helps us book some college gigs. Um, but you will play, but for the for most college, time, you will play for college parties. We do. Yes, ma'am. Um, fraternity parties are a great, um, it's a great way for us to, to, uh, 
make a make our way financially and and save some money so that we can get into the studio um because i i was talking to somebody who was in another band um i think it was tom drummond who's the bass player and founding member of better than ezra um he told us that fraternity parties are how you pay to go on tour um and so that's kind of how we've been doing it we we play fraternity shows and they pay well and we have fun and then that allows us to to go and play those venues that we're trying to play more and more of um since the the venues might not pay as much and it's it's based off ticket sales and there's all the splits and and so, so crazy if, things that i don't understand if a fraternity or sorority or any college group or anybody wants to get in touch with you to book you where should they go how, how do they reach out to y'all um they can reach out to us on instagram or reach out to our email it's winyaband at gmail.com um we're also on an app called beat gig they help us book some gigs um what's your what's your social media page what's your instagram page it is at Winya, W-I-N-Y-A-H, with two underscores. Okay. If you type in Winya, it should come up. Okay. So um, they can DM the Instagram page? They can, they can DM us or shoot us an email. Okay. Um, or if you, if you have a, a way to contact one of the band members, then I would definitely recommend doing that as well. Okay, cool. Um, do, how much lead time do you need? um at least a couple weeks i would think uh it really it varies i'd say right now we need a couple weeks maybe a month um but you know send us offers and we'll we'll figure it out if we can absolutely so i uh went to clemson you know i'm a clemson graduate go tigers yes ma'am go uh -huh. tigers yeah go tigers so i loved a great fraternity party i did i, I went to all mm -hmm. those so uh, I remember the kind of music we used to listen to. Tell me about what kind of music you play. Do you have your own kind of vibe? Or do you uh, do some covers of other songs? Or how, what kind of sets do y'all do? What's, we what's do. I'm asking the style of music and then I guess, yeah, just tell me whatever, you, however you want to answer that question. Yes, ma'am. Um, we do kind of a hybrid set. So uh, a good bit of originals and a bunch of covers. We We kind of mix it up covers wise. We do you know, some crowd pleasers that people can sing along, some songs that'll get the get the girls all fired up and, <laughs> and then some songs that'll get the guys pumped up and, and get them rowdy. Um, so we kind of mix it between classic rock and a l classic Southern rock, I'd say, yeah. um, leaning more towards classic rock than country, I'd say, in the Southern rock realm. Um, and then we do some funk songs, some good dancing songs, you know, your Stevie Wonders, your Commodores and Oh, I like that. And and it's fun. It's a it's a good our our set really um for for having just started our set is, is really fun to play and um I think it, it interacts with the crowd well. I think that we are going to come up with a, a new set list for the spring. I know we are actually. Um because I think we have all gotten a little tired of playing the same songs over and over. Not that they're not great songs, but well, sometimes you, know, you got to think about what your what your crowd wants. Which right, your exactly. Want to hear. We've gotten a lot of requests, and we have taken those requests to heart. And we're gonna gonna reformulate our set list and and make it as strong as possible. Um, but it's really a hybrid of, of originals. We we have got. We have a couple originals that we play um, live and then the rest is, is mainly covers. And sometimes, you know, we play the songs, stick to the, the three minute, 30 second version. And sometimes we jam out songs for 15 minutes. It really just depends on how we feel, I think. Okay, Thomas Rollins, I'm going to pretend like I'm a college girl again, and the party's getting coming to the end, and people start yelling out songs to y'all. I know they do, right? <laughs> okay. Yes, ma'am. They might yell out, would you play Rocky Top? <laughs> I We've been asked to play Rocky Top. Um, I think that we maybe played the first four chords, and then we we stopped because okay, we didn't really. Stairway to Heaven. Uh, that 
we do not play that. That is the <laughs> forbidden riff. We don't want to. We don't want to do that song and in, injustice. It's too good. This is awful. I hate to say this song, but this got played a lot when I was in college. Whip it by Devo. We do not play that. No. <laughs> You're missing out, man. You're really missing out. Okay. Um, I'll keep those in mind for the. Um, thank for the you. And if I have editions. any more great songs that I can remember, I will send those on to you. Send uh, them my way. You, you're not doing any beach music, no shagging kind of music or anything like that. Um, Just rhythm and blues. Not, no rhythm and blues or anything like that. Not really. No, ma'am. Okay. All right. Now, would you be willing to play something for us? Um, sure, I can. I can go and grab a guitar. Okay, I'll have to to do that. Okay. We'll, we'll pause here for just a second. Okay, sweet. Um, I have no idea what I'm gonna play. Um, there was something really good you were playing this summer. There was some song that you put on your social media that I really liked. I don't know what it was, but it was really good. It's kind of like a fast rhythm to it. Let's see. Um. Something about California? Was it anything about California, maybe? No? no, no. Uh, I can do Going to California. Is that it? Going to California. Is that a cover for a song? It is a cover. Yeah, let's just hear that real quick. Do you, I need to ask you, who does the vocals for all the songs in your band? Who's vocals? I do. You're all the vocals. We, um, live, Steven and Luke sing backup vocals as well. And you, you, you are guitar and vocals, correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. Take it away. Let's see what you got. Let me pull up my lyrics here so I don't. <laughs> it's a good thing about having this computer. That's right. All right. Spend my days with woman and kind, smoke my stuff and drink all my wine. Made up my mind to make a new start, going to California with an aching in my heart. Someone told me there's a girl out there with love in her eyes and flowers. In a hair, took my chances on a big jet plane. Never let them tell you that they're all the same. The sea was red and the sky was great. I wonder how tomorrow could ever follow today. The mountains and the canyons start to tremble and shake as the children of the sun began to awake. Watch out. Seems like the wrath of the gods got a punch in the nose and it's starting to flow. I think it might be sinking. Throw me a line if I reach it in time. I'll meet you up there where the path runs straight and high. To find a queen without a king They say she plays guitar and cries and sings La 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 Ride a white mare in the footsteps of dawn Trying to find a woman who's never, never been born Standing on the hill in the mountain of dreams Telling myself it's not as hard Hard, hard as it seems Beautiful. Oh gosh, that almost brings me to tears. I kind of I can feel your heart and your spirit when you play that song. That is, uh, that's one of the goals for sure is to, to leave the listener with that experience. Um, 
you are so very talented. I got to hear you play wow. live um, this summer when you were playing here by the beach. And I yes, was just ma'am. like, oh my gosh, he needs to be in Nashville, not here. You are so very talented. And I don't think this computer audio does you justice, but you are a wonderful musician and a wonderful singer. And uh, what a treat it's Thank you been so much. For you to spend some time with us this morning, talking to us about yourself and about the band. And we're yes, so ma'am. excited for your continued success. I know y'all are going to go straight to the top. Remember the Ivy, what I told you about the Ivy. Don't I will. Up. Yes, ma'am. Don't give up. You're going to you're going to get there on, on the bad days. Just say, why am I doing this? But don't ever give up. I believe in you. And I still gonna keep see, working at it. I see that great spirit of that young boy on the skateboard that used to come knock on my door. I still see that in you. So well, I thank you very I much. I know that young boy is alive and well in you and is not, not afraid of anything. And will never give up. So keep keep yes, working, ma'am. keep working at it. And I know uh, yes, ma'am. great things are going to happen for y'all. Um I will, I'm going to put some of those links uh, in the captions below so everybody can get in touch with the When Y'all Band if they'd like to book y'all. Perfect. And so they'll, also we'll know who the band members are. But um, Most definitely. Thank you so much. Anything else you'd like to say to our listeners before we leave? Um, just be on the lookout for, for new music from from me and myself, Thomas Rowland, and and when yeah, in 2024, we've we've been working hard in the studio and recording and writing songs, and they're all going to be out in the new year. Will you be performing at the Pit in Pauly's Island anytime soon? As of right now, we are not booked at the Pit, but we do have some some gigs at the Windjammer in um, Charleston. Where where um, is the booked. Windjammer in Charleston? Where is that? The Windjammer is on Isle of Palms. Okay. So um, they're kind of in the main city area i guess you would call it of isle of palms um right. right over the bridge it's it's right there it's just right outside of mount pleasant right yes ma'am for, for the people who don't know all right well great so if somebody yes, wants ma'am. to catch you locally wind jammer isle of palms when's your next date you will play there you know um we have a do- actually we have the royal american which is in charleston on february 10th okay. i believe and then we're playing the wind jammer on March eighth. March eighth, okay. So you have yes, some ma'am. dates in there that are open if somebody else would like to book you, do you? A lot of open dates okay. as of right now. Well, that's I'm good. Sure that, that's good for I'm sure that they will get booked up here soon with you know all the fraternities um, and stuff. Those guys are are never really on top of things, but. They'll get that. Listen, they'll see. We this. love playing for them. We they'll, love playing. I'm sure they'll be booking you as soon as they hear this. Okay. Well, great talking yes, with you. I hope you have a great day. I hope you and your dad get to go some, do some fishing or hunting today. Yes, ma'am. Me too. And we wish you all the best in the new year. Thank you very much for having me on the show. Talk Everyone have a, have a good one. Thank you. Bye, Thomas. Bye bye. This Roland is as great in person as he is in that interview, he's just better. You would love being around him. He's easy to be around, just a lot of fun, a lot of charisma. Um, So I'm sure he's a great stage performer. Well, I know he's a great stage performer because I've been able to hear him uh, play just a solo just by himself, but he's really good um, on the stage too. Uh, I wanted to tell you the members of the Winyaw Band again. So Thomas is the lead vocalist and he's on the guitar. Luke Gordon is also on the guitar, um, and Stephen Russell is on the bass guitar. Then we have Rob Buffington on the keyboard, and Jim Carr on drums, and a couple of guys, those guys do backup vocals. Um, They can come to your party. They can come to wherever y'all are. They have an Instagram page. It is at Winya, that's W-I-N-Y-A-H underscore underscore. That's on Instagram. Also, to email them, go to winyawband at gmail.com. And he also mentioned um, a website called Beat Gig is another way to book them, Beat Gig. So if you are having a party at college, if you're having a party in your neighborhood, um, if you're just having a party for any reason or just need a band there, uh, look up Winyaw Band and uh, get in touch with them because they'd certainly like to perform for you. They are great to listen to, crowd favorite around here in Pauly's Island. I know uh, college-age girls just love them because they're all very handsome band members. So easy on the eyes for sure. Uh, 
So good luck to the band Winya. We always want to support people in our area, and we are here to support you, Winya Band. We're going to close with one more little clip from them performing. I hope you have a happy new year, and we look forward to seeing you. Thanks so much for listening. Please like us and follow us on wherever you follow your podcast. Or if you're looking on YouTube, you can like the YouTube page. Thank you so much and have a great week. week. See you soon. Tell me, oh, you gotta tell me.